Well, tonight, a state law born out of a tragedy in South Florida now creating a new crisis for condo owners right here in Florida. This comes as a new investigation sheds light on the exact cause of the deadly Surfside condo collapse three years ago. News Channel 8's Lenny Supal joins us live with more. Lenny. Good evening. Yeah, an engineer says that there were issues from the very beginning, plus a lot of missed warning signs. And even so, the state now requiring very stringent inspections for aging condos. But some worry that the deadline is too aggressive and has the potential to price people out of their homes. The deadly Surfside condo collapse still under investigation nearly three years after the Champlain Tower South building came crashing down, killing 98 people inside. The building was never designed appropriately from day one. Matthew Fadden is an engineer and associate principal with WIS Janney Elsner Associates, pinpointing the exact column that gave way. We were, were pointing towards somewhere near K13.1, uh, which is a column in the pool deck that was extremely heavily loaded and showing a bunch of distress uh, right before the actual collapse. Since that tragedy, a new state law is in effect, requiring condos more than 30 years old to conduct a milestone inspection report by the end of this year, forcing condo associations to have their reserves fully funded for structural repairs if needed. Uh, it will avoid uh, distress issues for the long term. However, there's no indication that the maintenance that was done at Champlain Towers or the lack of maintenance that was done there was the driver for the actual collapse. It was the actual design itself. Condo owners now facing pricey assessment fees that could top tens of thousands of dollars per unit. It's already pricing people out of their homes. Aminta Goines is a board certified realtor weighing in. Most people don't realize this. Uh, they have to show their financial reserves are fully funded for maintenance for the inspections and potential future repairs. And a lot of the associations may face repair and replacement costs uh, in the millions. Are we going to see a wave of foreclosures? It could be possible. So it's just a matter of time before we see how this plays out before the end of year deadline. At the same time, there is only one way a condo association can get an extension. It's if they have a contract with an engineering firm on the table. Reporting live in Tampa, Lenny Supal 8 on your side.